Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode, we feature musicians in the Ventura area, as well as the musicians who travel here to play. We hope you enjoy. I'm Andy. And I'm the bass player, and I sang a good number of the songs in our band, How to Live with Robots. Uh, my name is Nick. Does it sound good? <laughs> I'm a, I know I'm a bit softly spoken, but uh, I'm the guitar player. Um, I, play, uh, I play lead. My name's John, and I'm the newest member of the band, and I play guitar and bass. Hello, my name is Josie, and I play the keyboards, and I also sing for some of the songs. Hello, I'm Dan. Drums and guitar, but not at the same time, mind you, because that would be kind of difficult. Um, I also uh, create uh, the band Arts, our logo, and uh, co-founding member of the band. So uh, you can find How to Live with Robots on Facebook. Our Facebook page is pretty uh, stocked up with pictures and videos. I'm still working on our Instagram, but we do have an Instagram. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it for social media. Top five musical influences. Oh. I have so many, but I love Mark Bolin of T-Rex. I think he's badass. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the Stooges and Nirvana, and um, I, I guess that's what comes out most when I play. My main influence is classic rock. I'm a huge Tom Petty fan, so he's a big influence. The Stones, Bob Dylan. I guess some of my influences, I like Aurora. I like Janis Joplin, and I like to listen to How to Live with Robots. <laughs> I like Gary Newman, um, Joy Division, The Chameleons, Flying Saucer Attack, and The Church. I would classify our music as uh, garage rock. Yeah, we have a lot of influences. Um, garage is a good way to put it. We have uh, punk influences as well. A bit of Husker Du. Um, a little bit of a shoegaze kind of thing going on. 
I'm not sure I, I'd call it kind of punk rock. A little bit of everything. Maybe we're going to add some country to it, I'm hoping. Uh, with all of our different influences, and there's a lot, uh, I would say classified as unclassified because uh, we're definitely different. <laughs> So we want our fans to take away from our shows um, just like a lot of energy, a lot of like, we just want people to get in, like jump around and dance and, and uh, bang their heads and just have a great time. The music scene in Ventura, how has it influenced me? Um, so I would say when we formed our band, we we kind of started playing at open mic nights and kind of got the feel for the music scene in Ventura that way. And we met a lot of people and uh, and kind of kind of figured it out, like you know where to play, you know the cool spots to play, and who who would like us and <laughs> who maybe wouldn't like us. <laughs> But, um, yeah, and we're still working that out. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, I guess just kind of figured out. And, and I, I really think there's a, a place for all kinds of music in Ventura. It's pretty, it's pretty diversified. So the Ventura scene for music is it's pretty big. It's pretty vast. I've met so many different people from, like, metal bands to indie bands to techno goth. And it's just like so vast that I'm like really proud to be able to be in that scene and to see all the people and meet all the people that I've met because it is really nice to be able to play with all the bands that we've played with. So it's it's always a lot of fun and it's very open and everybody's pretty accepting. I've never heard a boo from anybody. Keep that going. If I could meet and collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, gosh, this is really hard. I gotta say Bowie. John Lennon, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'd have to say Tom Petty. I'm him and George Harrison. Keen, come find me. Mine would be um, Ian Curtis from Joy Division. It's on my shirt, too. <laughs> um, and Gary Newman for definitely, and also uh, Tamron. I think she, well, I think she's hot, but she's a great musician too. <laughs>
so uh, right now we're kind of gradually putting some studio recordings together. And um, so we have one song completed, but I, I want to tweak the mix one more time. Um, uh, but it, it sounds really good. I've got a lot of good feedback for the song. This is the first song we wrote as a band together. It's called Just a Shadow I Am. And uh, so, and but we have about five more songs, original songs that we would like to record. But you know, we're starving musicians, and it takes a little time. I would say um, we kind of used uh, Joy Division and uh, Bauhaus and some grunge music as the springboard for this first track that we have uh, put together, and. Um, uh, yeah, I guess um, we're just looking forward to finally having enough songs to put out there as a, an EP. So next for the band is just to record more music, um, write more music, uh, and play more gigs, and just keep getting better and better. Yeah, I do, I do want to thank all the people that do come out and support us. And, um, you know, I they're in a way part of the band, too, because, uh, you know, one person, three people. Uh, it depends. We've had various crowd sizes at our shows, but big thanks to everybody that comes out to support us. I'd, I'd also like to thank Penny, Chris, Michael. You guys pretty much always come to our shows. Yeah. Thank you. 